Hey Nimtax and welcome back. This is Ash from Heal My PC. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Linux USB installation drive. First thing you need is a Linux distribution and we're going to choose Linux Mint since it's quite a popular one, especially if you come from a Windows environment. All links are going to be below in the description. Go ahead to the downloads page of Linux Mint. And there's quite a few versions. You've got Cinnamon, you've got Mate or Mate, XFCE and KDE. Cinnamon is quite a popular one, but feel free to choose another one if you like. There's also two different versions, which is 32-bit and 64-bit. Now, if you're in doubt as to whether your processor can support 64-bit or 32-bit, then go ahead and just get the 32-bit version. If your processor can support 64-bit, do that. So we're going to choose 62-bit. So click on that. It's going to give you a few mirrors to download from. Since I'm in UK, I'm going to choose a UK one, but you don't have to stick to this. You can always select a different one. Different mirrors will give you different downloads speeds now I've already downloaded this earlier so while this is downloading go also we need an app that's going to create the drive and uh, for today I'm going to choose unit booting but you can choose any other app you want Google is your friend the reason I'm going with unit booting is because it's got the versions for all three major platforms ie Windows Linux and Mac OS X and also it's got quite a detailed explanation and instructions on how to create this USB drive. Okay, so click on downloads for Windows or whichever platform you're using. And I've also already downloaded this earlier. So we're going to go ahead and open the app. Okay, so this window will pop up. So you have two ways of doing this and the first drop down menu on distribution you can select a linux distribution so you can go to for example uh, linux mint and on the right side it gives you 17.2 live which is the 32-bit version you can also have the 64-bit since we've downloaded our own version of iso we can go down here to disk image and click here to go select the iso we downloaded earlier in my case it's going to be this one linux mint 18 cinnamon select that the next thing is you're going to need a flash drive now make sure you've got a flash drive which is not going to use again because all data is going to be formatted on there and I've got an E drive here, but you've got to be careful here. So go and check, uh, right click, right click on start button menu and go to disk management. And uh, you can also check in file explorer. So this is the drive I'm going to be using E. It's a eight gigabyte. You can use a two gigabyte as a minimum and you can use a 2.0 version or 3.0 or 3.1. It's up to you. But make sure you got your right drive selected now mine is the 8 gigabyte here and it needs to be formatted to 32 in case it doesn't show up go ahead to your disk management select it right click and select format and click on yes and uh, you can name the label if you want keep it as 32 and default and perform a quick format so go ahead and do that and that should be formatted right Next step is to make sure you've got your right drive selected. My case it's E, so everything is okay. I've got my ISO and my drive, so click on OK. And now it's going to be installing the Linux on this flash drive. So here you go. After a few minutes, this will have been done. So just click on Exit, and you can go ahead and uh, safely remove your drive. And once that's done, go ahead and enjoy your new Linux distribution. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching. This was Ash from Hill My PC. Give me a comment or question down in the comment section below. Like or dislike this vid. And if you haven't subscribed, consider doing so, so you can benefit from future uploads. Until next time, peace out.